Hi guys, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw a unicorn emoji. So let's get started. With this drawing, we're going to first start by drawing the unicorn's head at a profile. So we're going to be drawing a curve down and it's going to um, curve around for the muzzle area. So right here, I'm going to start to draw a curve down. It's very slight. So about right here, I'm just going to come down. And I know this tr um, drawing is pretty tricky. It looks very simple, but it's actually pretty um, tricky to get the proportions right. So don't give up, just keep working at it. So I'm just going to keep coming down. And I'm going to come down a little bit more. And then right there, I'm going to start to bring it around. So this is going to be the nose, the muzzle area. And then I'm going to bring it down a little bit more, bring it around. So it's just a shape that comes around. And then I'm going to continue this and then start to come down. So this is the, imagine this is the nose area, the muzzle. And then we're going to start to bring it down for the jaw area. So you come down about right here. And so notice this is going to be um, your guide, wherever you started. So just come straight down and this is where you want to end for now. Just come about right there. So I just want you to start off with this shape. And so I like to make it a little bit shorter so that it's a little bit cuter. And so then from there, let's come back up right here and we're going to start to draw the mane. So I'm going to come say about right here and just draw a curve. So this, by drawing this curve right here, I'm just able to gauge it a little bit better and then I'm going to bring it in up right here. So this is the top. And so then from here I'm going to swing it in. So this is just the front. I'm going to curve it in and then stop. So this is about the same height. I mean the same area top and bottom. So this is kind of like another gauge you can give yourself. And then from there I'm going to come over here and draw the ear. So I'm going to go up a big curve and it's going to go above this. It's going to go higher than that and then come back down. And notice this curve is slightly slanted. And I'm going to bring it down. And then from there, let's draw the details. I'm going to come really close to that line, come to the top, and then I'm going to come down. So this side is going to be a little thicker. And bring it down. Then now I can finish this curve and bring it in. So the reason I'm drawing it this way is because, like I said, it's a little bit difficult to get it this um, exact shape for this unicorn. So by doing um, these little steps here and there to measurements, it makes it a little bit easier to get it all together. So then from there, let's come back on top of this part right here and draw another snap. This is going to be the top of the ear on the other side. And same thing, inside and out. So there. Now let's um, come back here and let's draw the the horn. So I'm going to come up. It's going to pop out about right here. And um, let's see here. It's going to pop out about right here. So I'm going to go up. That's how as high as you want it. And then I'm going to start to bring it down. So it's just like drawing a cone. And bring it all the way back. And so then from there, I can come in with some details and draw a curve inside just to give it some volume. And then also you can give it these different colors, rainbow colors if you want. So now that you have that horn part in, let's come back down here and we're going to draw this and finish this bottom part. We're just going to continue it now and just bring it up. And so then let's come back in here and start to draw the muzzle area, the nose. So about towards the end right here, we're just going to draw a curve and another curve and then bring it in slightly. And then right here, we're going to draw a circle. So this is for the nostril and you can shade that in black. 
And so then for the eye, where to the right here, I'm going to put it about right in this area. It's going to be above this um, circle and it's going to be above this line right here. So wherever this line is, just make sure the eye is slightly above it. So about right here. I'm going to draw myself a nice big circle. So there. And then because um, I'm making the madrasa eyes and um, it's a profile, I'm going to start, I'm going to change this a little bit and draw the curve going this way. And then I'm going to add the highlight. So I'm just going to give one bigger one and then a smaller one. See if it makes it look a little bit more magical. <laughs> and then just shade it in. So hopefully, I know it's maybe, I hope I'm not confusing you, but I just want to give you those little points so that when you draw it, it's a little bit easier. So then from there, Let's add the lines at the bottom on the side. I mean. <laughs> so there. Um, now we got the head in. Let's come back here and we're going to start to draw the mane. So we're going to continue this curve. We're going to bring it down. And we're going to imagine this being overlapped by the ear. So about right here. And then let's connect it. And so then from there, we're going to start to build this gorgeous mane. So we're going to come here, pop out a curve, and connect it. And then we're going to start right here, draw another curve that comes in. And we curve it back to about the center. And about over here, we're going to pop out a curve. So just have fun with this part. Don't even worry about it. it. doesn't have to be exactly like mine. But we just want to build this gorgeous hair in different layers. So about one, we're going to put it about right here. Okay, curve it down and connect it. So before I continue, I'm going to start to draw the neck so I know where to end my um, uh, the main part. So I'm going to come here and just draw a curve. So then I'm going to end it say about right here, so I'm going to curve it in because this is just an emoji, <laughs> so we don't need to draw everything. And so then from there, let's keep building our hair. So I'm going to come over here and draw another curve. And let's see, so it's just nice and full about right here where it's going to end. We'll come about right there. Let's fill this part up and draw a curve and connect it. And so then let's just finish off the head right here, the neck, and connect it. Ta da! <laughs> and so then now, um, for some details if you wanted, I'm going to come in here with a thinner Sharpie. So this part you don't have to do. I just thought it'd be nice to add some little details. I'm just coming in with a thinner one and I'm just going to draw some lines in here just to give it a little bit more detail in the hair. And also if you wanted to color the hair different colors, this is where you could just have your separations to color it in different um, colors. Or you could do all one color. It's all up to you. This is where you're supposed to have fun with it. So I'm just going to come in here and add these lines in the center to give it some more details. And let's see, give it one more. There. And so then from about right here, I'm going to draw that little sparkle if you want it. I'm going to come in here and it's basically just straight down and then curve out. Straight down, curve out. And then the same thing, just opposite way, come down, go back up, and connect it. Ding! <laughs> so there, my uh, Draw So Cute Unicorn emoji. Hope you guys love it and I made it easy for you guys to follow along. Thanks so much for watching and uh, if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.